there's been a lot of attention being paid to one of your buddies from the PayPal days, Elon Musk purchasing Twitter. What are your thoughts on that acquisition? So Elon's obviously one of the, maybe the most storied and amazing entrepreneur of our time. Um, you know, uh, let's revolutionize the space industry. Let's revolutionize the car industry. Oh, this AI thing's important. Let's do this Neuralink thing. Mm -hmm. All of these amazing things. And so um, I think that the, uh, and, and I think Twitter has been slow on its innovation. Mm -hmm. So bringing a great innovator into this uh, new zone is going to be a very interesting thing. Mm -hmm. I also think that his you know, stated idea through Twitter that of, of doing more human identity validation is I think a very good thing. One obviously has to be careful about where this plays out to activists in oppressive countries or even people who are oppressed minorities within you know, well-formed democracies and you have to make sure that you're attentive to that. Mm -hmm. But I think human identity validation is generally speaking a very good thing and a good thing that we do a lot of at LinkedIn, <laughs> right? I mean, in terms of, of trying to make sure everyone has a, is, is there as like, you know, I'm Reed Hoffman. This is really my, my profile and who I am. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so I think that's all um, uh, a very good thing. And look, I think it's, uh, you know, Elon always thinks big. And so jumping into what is otherwise a horrifically difficult problem, you know, a cultural conflict in society, freedom of speech issues, how do you balance a freedom of speech with a, we, we'd like to have a society that is, that is a little kinder, <laughs> right? A little bit more, yeah. you know, building bridges versus burning them. And how do you sort all that out? Very difficult journey. You know, uh, Elon has a lot of uh, guts. Thank you.